Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is just going to be a quick video showing you some of the new pictures of Terry Kelly and some posts that he posted in the past on Facebook. He has a bunch of different accounts. He sets up like fake accounts pretending to be like his family, his kids, like a whole family. Is <laughs> but unfortunately, they're all being set to private. But I did grab some screenshots from people. So I can share them with you. Um, it is very disturbing. I think what he's doing is somebody had me thinking on a comment. They said, because I how I explained it, that I think maybe he is obsessed with having a daughter and possibly like a, a whole family. I'm not sure if his fantasy involves having a wife or it's just daughters. I mean, I'm not sure about that. So he's treating her like his own kid. And then somebody look, was looking at it a different way, but it's kind of the same way. They said, well, He's obsessed with dolls, so he wants her as his own live doll. But in reality, it's kind of the same thing as, it just depends how you look at it. He's obsessed with having a little girl, fake or not, but being able to dress her up and comb her hair and take care of her and take selfies with her. So live or not, that fantasy is the same no matter how you look at it. If you look at it like he wants her to be a doll or he wants the dolls to be a real kid, I think it's just this fantasy and obsession with having a little girl. He doesn't have any kids so he only had dolls unless if he decided to kidnap a kid. You see what I'm saying? So he had the dolls which are were probably satisfying him for a while and then he needed more you know he needed a, a real girl to keep him satisfied because it always progresses people that have these fantasies and obsessions like that always progresses and, it, and it's like you want more and more and then more and more and it's because what used to get you off is not enough anymore because you know how if you study like serial killers and stuff what happens is they need more and more to get get off basically because it's all sexually motivated and they just need more and more to to get off to be satisfied and when i mean when i say sexually motivated i don't mean that it always involves the act of sex because it doesn't but it's all motivated by sexual gratification but not necessarily the act of sex if that makes sense i'm sure you guys all know this because you're all in true crime and serial killers and it's something that's very well studied so you know what worked at the beginning isn't gonna work years from now. So the dolls that helped him with his sick fascination isn't quite working. So he needed uh, something more extreme, like a real doll, a real kid. So I think um, it's basically, I feel like it's the same thing. That, that comment really got me thinking. It's like, it's really this, see, we're saying the same thing. We're just kind of explaining it and looking at it in a different way. But either way you look at it, he, he it has this obsession with dolls, taking care of them, doing their hair, dressing them up, taking selfies, pretending he has this family. But I'm sure that all originates from actually wanting a real girl, like a real person. That would probably be the ultimate fantasy for him. You know, the dolls he may do with because he doesn't have one, but the urges got strong enough for him to go kidnap a real girl probably had those urges so strong that he acted on him and he went and kidnapped Cleo. And so he had his own live doll, but I think the dolls represent a little girl. So I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to explain that you can look at it either way and it's basically the same thing. He just has this fantasy about having a, a, a little girl to take care of like a doll or a kid, however you want to look at it, but to be able to dress it up, take pictures, pretend to have a family. But thanks for the comment. So Athena, that one of your comments, there's a few people that commented about the doll, but I think it was Athena that really was the first one that I responded to and got me thinking, but she said, I'm just so happy for her mummy. Do you think this guy wanted a live doll he could dress up with long, soft hair he could brush? So strange. Yes, I think he definitely wanted that. However, you look at it like a, a, a kid, but his is so strange that it's just, you know, the, it's so weird, his fascination with it, that it's not like w the way a typical father probably would be. You know, it's, it's, all, it's a little off there. It's a little out there. So... Well, no, it's a lot out there. He's sick. He really is. He's definitely got something wrong with him. If he'll, act, I'm, I'm telling you, he's going to do it again. And he's probably not going to stay in prison that long. And I think he definitely will do it again. You know, maybe the dolls, when he gets out, maybe the dolls will satisfy him for a while. But just like this, it's not going to last. He's going to need more and more. And he's going to need a live, a live girl. 
a live uh, person to meet that satisfaction. Okay, so I'm gonna go through some posts that Terrence or Terry posted on Facebook. The first thing here is all his fake accounts, I guess. Somebody had found it in one of the Facebook groups. So this is like his possibly his made up family and these fake social media accounts that he has. This one he posted because he goes by Brat Deluca. Always well he goes by a few accounts, but one of them is Brat Deluca. Says always a brat, mama's little brat. So this is another account, a profile that he has, Terrence Tez Kells. And in one of his responses in this thread says, anyone who's into watching, being in possession, distributing or producing such disturbing material shouldn't make excuses, only that they're sick and evil yet fail to admit that also they're not human at all. As long as evil exists, there's only those like ourselves and the brave, honest police who put in hard work to protect and do our best, only to be betrayed by such systems like the court who fail. Two years supposed to be for burglars and thieves minimum, not for pedo predator scums. Little hypocrite, are we? And then he says, if I had it my way as a prime minister, I'd give authorities the green light to torture him, use manipulation tactics on him and trick him to reveal where the body is and other possible victims, how he manipulated those single moms to gain access to their kids, give him a taste of his own medicine and keep him locked up in mainstream with hard hitting criminals without protection. Wow. Just like uh, what happened with you getting attacked in jail uh, because what you did and what you're saying, that person felt the same way about you and that's why they attacked you and then he says the boys inside should make a tv show of their own called the farmer wants a shower daddy p need to be in prison indefinitely not in a mental health facility that should be for the innocent and vulnerable not creeps what like you? A creep like you? And he said, knowing there's those type of monsters out there is frightening, but knowing our guy and girls in blue out there are doing their jobs to keep our community safe makes us feel safer. Hopefully he faces a judge, magistrate, who will throw the book at this monster and give him jail time because cybercrime cops, in my opinion, have a tough job from what they have to come across that's so heinous and disturbing. They probably need special counseling themselves due to their type of work as it'll be appalling if he gets a slap on the wrist. So do they, what do you, do you think that they should throw the book at you then? And yeah, I bet you the, uh, your community feels a lot safer without you on the streets now. Okay, and then he says, the judicial system is a bunch of useless eggheads letting too many of these creeps getting away with it. I hope they don't let you get away with it. They didn't so far, they gotcha. Okay, so this is a picture of his room. So you can see uh, quite an obsession and fantasy he's got going on there all the dolls and then another post is why i'm getting friends requests from people i don't know if you know who i am just message me so i can be sure because because and please don't add me if as something random and don't add me because you know my family or mates doesn't mean we're mates just that i can't accept friends requests from strangers just i live a private life and i respect those who are on my friends list to ensure their privacy is respected too because i'm getting annoyed with strange friends request please message me i check my inbox every morning and parts of the day and it's more convenient for me and I may or may not accept requests and us adults have to be careful online too. He posted this under Bratz DeLuca last December, Bratz Life. And then look, a Natalie DeLuca says daddy. So this must be one of his fake accounts pretending to be his daughter saying daddy. Oh, it's crazy. Wonder where he's getting these real pictures of people that he's using for profile pictures. That's creepy. So he's getting them off of somebody else's uh, account or page. It's like real people. And then under Brad Staluka, he says, Brad Staluka is feeling motivated in Sydney, Australia. I love taking my dolls for drive arounds and doing their hair and taking selfies in public. Wow. Another picture of the dolls in his house. I just wonder if Cleo was staying in a room that had all the dolls. I'm sure he probably put her in that room or in one of the rooms that have, I mean, I don't know if there's more than one room that has dolls. I just want to compare these rooms to see if it's the same room. It does look like it could be the same room, just on the different wall. Like this could be, like this wall here could be this wall back here because you see the fan. So it possibly could be the same room or it might be a different one but I guess we know he definitely has at least one room filled with dolls, possibly two. It just makes you wonder, was Cleo in one of those rooms or in a room that was filled with dolls? Was she allowed to play with whatever one she wanted? I know they said when they found her, she was playing with toys or playing with, I don't know if they, I think they just said, 
I wonder if they specifically said dolls are just toys, but she was playing with something. Has he done this before? Is this his first child that he's abducted or has he had more than one? If he has, did he return the other one? What'd he do with her? I'm, in my opinion, just my opinion, I'm just thinking this was his first abduction. What do you guys think? Okay, so let's go back to the pictures. So, so here's a couple pictures of him. So I just saw an article that there was some mistakes on some pictures that were from Facebook that were thought to be Terry, but it was really another guy. And I'm thinking these two might be two of them because there's a picture of the other guy that they show and he was falsely identified as Terry, but it, he, it's not Terry because of pictures that people thought was Terry. And I, for some reason, going through the pictures I got last night, I think these two are the ones. Let me know what you guys think because I was comparing him and he doesn't really look that much like Terry. He looks more like the other guy. I'll show you a picture of the other guy and let me know what you think if it's Terry or if it's this other guy. The one on the right looks a little bit more like he could be Terry, but I feel like he still looks more like the other guy. But the one on the left looks a lot like the other guy. I'll show you. Okay, so the guy on the right, that's the guy that was falsely identified as Terry Kelly. And you could see, they. so yeah, I think this pi picture isn't Terry. He's this other guy. What do you guys think? Now here's the other one. And let's compare this picture to Terry Kelly. I don't know. I mean, this one possibly could be him, but he could be the other guy too. So here's another picture of Terry Kelly on the right. And you could compare them to this guy if you th let me know what you think. Here's another one of Terry on the right. I'm not even sure if these are the pictures they were talking about that, that were wrong. I'm just trying to figure it out. And these are the two that I could see that maybe they aren't Terry Kelly. So I just wanted to get your guys' opinion. Now here's Terry on the left and then the other picture on the right, which I'm trying to figure out if it is Terry. I don't know. I mean... <sighs> Sometimes I'm like, no, and then now that I just looked at it at this moment, I'm like, maybe it is him. So I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think. Let's continue. Wait, I just do want to add the facial hair, though. Um, the one guy, this guy, has similar to this guy. And then all the pictures of Terry, he doesn't have facial hair like that. So that's another reason it makes me think that at least this one is that other guy. Okay, now we're going to continue. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to get your guys' opinion because you guys are very smart <laughs> and you uh, and you help me see a lot of things so i just wanted to see what you guys thought law enforcement at his house here's that picture of him with the two dolls and the brat shirt another picture of the forensic team this is a picture of jake glidden cleo's stepdad cleo and her mom and stepdad cleo and her mom Terry's house, Cleo when she's being rescued. Okay, so let me read you a couple articles. He was in court today and got charged with abduction, so that's good news. I'm just not sure how long he'll do for this charge because I know Australia is a little more lenient on their sentencing, so I'm scared he will get out in not that long. Okay, so let me read. They have his face blurred out right here. I think that's the the one picture that I have where it's not blurred out that I just showed you guys in my video. But anyway, it said the man appeared in Carnarvon's magistrate court and was annoyed at the presence of journalists at the hearing. Police have charged a Western Australian man over the abduction of four-year-old Cleo Smith. Terrence Daryl Kelly did not apply for bail and was not required to enter a plea when he faced Carnarvon's magistrate's court this afternoon. The 36-year-old took a while to acknowledge his name and expressed anger with the media presence as he was flanked by two police officers. He nodded to indicate he understood the charges, which included one count of forcibly taking a child under 16, commonly referred to as child stealing. Kelly was barefoot, wore a black shirt, and his curly hair out. He did not show much emotion, other than appearing agitated with the presence of two ABC journalists. At one point, he looked over at the journalist and swore, saying, why are they here? He was remanded in custody until December 6th. Police have had Mr. Kelly in custody for the past two days since officers broke into the state housing commission house he was living in and found Cleo in a bedroom playing with toys in the early hours of Wednesday morning. 
18 days after her family reported her missing from the Blowholes campsite. Mr. Kelly was not in the house at the time, but was arrested on a nearby street. Here's a picture of Detective Senior Sergeant Cameron Blaine, who helped rescue Cleo, was one of the four police officers in the courtroom. Yeah, I think that's the guy we see on the video, the uh, body cam that's going up and uh, talking to her. Senior Sergeant Blaine spoke briefly outside the Carnarvon courthouse following Mr. Kelly's appearance. He told reporters it felt good to have the accused appear before a magistrate. It's obviously a combination of lots of hard work, and that's what we've been here for. So yeah, it's fantastic, he said. The matter is before the court, so we're not going to make any more comments at this stage. See, this is what I understand. If he saw this, why wouldn't he at least turn that in? Like, at least call the cops with a tip that, hey, this guy has these car full of dolls. Something's not right. Especially since there's a little girl missing in that neighborhood. I mean, it's from the same neighborhood. So I don't understand why the... It, all this information comes out after the fact that they say, oh yeah, he was weird. Or, oh yeah, he had, he was buying nappies. That was weird. He was doing this. He was doing that. Why do they wait till after? Or do you think these people did call in tips and that was a part of how they narrowed in on it? Maybe. But anyway, so it says, neighbor claims he saw Cleo's alleged abductor with a car full of dolls days after she went missing. As dramatic arrest footage emerges and heartwarming details of the rescue are revealed. Police allege Kelly, who boasted of his bizarre Bratz doll collection online, snatched a little girl from her family tent while she slept at the remote Blowholes campsite. Kelly was bundled out of a car and placed in handcuffs shortly after the raid at 11.30 p.m. on Tuesday, with grainy taxi footage of revealing the first time the moment he was arrested. The state's top cop said the unlikely rescue brought about by tireless detective work will go down as one of the proudest moments in police history. Commissioner Chris Dawson said he will never forget the moment he watched little Cleo fall asleep in her mother's arms moments after the pair were reunited. So Terry was known to buy girls toys including Disney princess and Bratz dolls from the local toy world store long before he was arrested even though he doesn't have any kids. But locals assumed it must have been just for his extended family. Okay so here's a really low resolution grainy video clip of when they arrested Terry Kelly. They got him out of a taxi cab and threw him to the ground. It's really hard to make out, but I'll play it for you. I'll play it one more time in slow motion. So that's pretty grainy and hard to see, but that was that. It says in various social media profiles, Kelly shares images of himself in a Bratz doll t-shirt along with other photos of an entire room full of dolls with the toys stacked from floor to ceiling. More recent purchases while Cleo was still missing seem to have attracted the attention of police with the local toy shop asked to hand over CCTV footage. Neighbor Henry Dodd claimed he saw the accused kidnapper with a dozen dolls in the back of his dark blue Mazda one week before his arrest when police were desperately scouring the state searching for Cleo. Mr. Dodd said the brand new dolls were still in their packaging as if they had been collected from the post office. Wow, that's creepy. What the heck? He is so creepy. I'm gonna play that little video he made oh, one more time in slow motion. So it looks like he's filming himself in his bedroom with those dolls or well in the room with the dolls in the background. It's just so creepy looking. It looks like he probably has a filter on because the way his face looks. What do you guys think? Okay, so it says, Homicide detective Cameron Blaine, who was one of the four detectives that freed Cleo from her 18-day nightmare, said he is amazed at how well and happy she seems to be. It was really heartwarming to see that she's still bubbly and she's laughing, he said. She's fallen asleep in her mother's arms. There was one occasion where he, she asked if she could lay next to mom and have Ellie look at her while she fell asleep. It's really good to see that she's adjusted. She's getting some sleep. She's playing in the backyard exactly how you would expect. So when the police found her in the house, in the room, she had been playing with dolls with the light on inside a room at the time, police said. So she had the light on, he went somewhere, and it 
taxi cab because that's where they ended up uh, arresting him at and pulled him out of the taxi so i don't know where he went but she was basically by him by herself at the time and what was like one in the morning i mean it was late and he he left her by herself she was up playing with dolls and i actually want to play the audio one more time i know i did a video last night on it but just the audio of when they actually went in and rescued her basically the first contact they had with her it just makes me feel all good and happy it's just such a happy moment like we rarely see this looking into cases so it just i don't know it just makes me feel good so let's listen to it one more time i got it i got it hey bobby Bring the camera in. Hey, come here come here What's your name? Sarah. What's your name? What's your name, sweetheart? My um, name is Cleo. Your name is Cleo. Hello, Cleo.